Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So I'm gonna be sharing something new from Madam Glam. It was released the middle of the month. I'm a little late getting these up and the reason is my youngest son graduated, had company, had graduation, we were setting up for grad and taking down, just goes on and on. And then we went away for bowl. My son plays competitive bowl as well, so we were away. So finally getting this up. So I apologize, Madam Glam, for this being late. But it is a new set of gel paints. They're neon gel paints. And there's six of them, as you can see, in front of me. And they are so pretty. So I'm just going to open them up and show you a few things I want to tell you before I actually show you the colors up close. So they are a cream, no white formula. Perfect coverage in just one layer. And you always apply thin coats so you don't get any wrinkling and can be applied on a buff nail as well on a top coat. So they're like a no wipe formula, as I said. So you can apply it on the top and you do not have to worry about covering it up with a top coat unless you want it even shinier, you can do that, but it doesn't have to be, so that's nice. And they also can be used with chrome. So that's a bonus too, because they're in a no wipe formula. So if you apply them, you cure them, you can apply chrome right on them and it's gonna adhere nicely. So that's another bonus about these neon gel paints. I'm gonna be doing a design after this. I'm not even gonna tell you what it's gonna be, but I will do it and I'll be using these as well in that design. So watch for that after I show you the colors. And a couple more things so they can be used as gel for stamping so that's nice you can actually looks like stamp with them so they can be cured for one minute in a led light or two minutes in a uv light so i think that's everything i need to tell you now five gram jars and of course they're vegan cruelty free same as everything else 21 free formula so they're very safe to use. So I'm gonna show you them and I'll look at the brushes that they uh, sent to. I don't even know what brushes are in here, but we're gonna look at this together. So I'm just gonna move it aside and I'll pull out the brushes first. So it looks like the first brush is an application brush. I actually use these all the time. They're really good brushes. And you can see there, a nice oval brush. So you could apply these fully as color as well if you really wanted to using that brush. And then we've also got, oh, I don't have one of these yet. I'll show you. So we've got an ultra liner. So this is a thin liner brush from Madame Glam. I'll take this off so you can see it better. Well, that's a nice little brush. So I'm definitely gonna be using that with the colors after for my design. So getting into the colors, I'm assuming these are probably sealed, but this is the first one. It's called Electric Yellow Gel Paint, and I told you they are five mils, 0.17 fluid ounces. And of course they have the ingredients on them and it says they're vegan, cruelty-free, nine-free formula, HEMA-free, just, everything that is really important in purchasing uh, gel colors. So I'm gonna open it. Like I said, I'm assuming they're sealed. So there's the seal. So I'm gonna have to get those seals off. So I will, I will be back and have it open here. So I didn't do the best job of removing that seal, but that was the electric yellow. Very pretty neon yellow. So if you know a better way of getting these seals off, please let me know because I always struggle to get them completely off. I know I can take a tweezer and pull the rest off, but it's even hard to do with that. So let me know if there's any way of getting that off easier, but how pretty. The next one is Hot Coral. And again, I'm gonna remove the seal and then I'll show you. So there's the hot coral. It's a really, really nice color. The next one we've got is vivid green. So it's a really nice bright green. The next one is dynamic blue. 
really nice as well. Not quite as neon as the other ones, but still nice. And this one is my favorite. It's ultra pink. And of course, because it's pink, I love pink. So pretty. And the last one is glow orange. And it's nice as well. So keep watching because I am going to do a design. So I will be right back when I'm ready to start that. So the design I'm going to create today is a tortoise shell nail, just the tips. And I'm going to be using those neon colors. You're probably wondering how I'm going to do that. But you just keep watching and you will see how I incorporate those into a tortoise shell nail and how I do a tortoise shell nail and using Madame Glam products to do that. So we're going to get started right away with the flirty. That was just in their last collection. It's a sheer uh, color. It is so pretty. So I'm going to do two coats of that and cure for 30 seconds. pretty sheer nude so there's two coats so the color I'll be using for the base of the tortoise shell nails it works perfect it's called crown now this was in the collection of the metallic colors so if you put this on the metallic silver base it will be more of a chrome type polish but I am going to use it more as a sheer polish and I'm going to do two coats and do the tip in this and so yeah just watch and then I will cure it and you'll see the rest of the process of the tortoise shell nails. So there's one coat and as you can see it's the perfect base for that so I will do one more after this cures while I'm waiting for that to cure I'm gonna add a couple more colors to my palette because I'm gonna need them so I'm taking this high roller it's a really nice brown it'll be perfect for it so I'm gonna add that to my palette and also a black and this one is called reality check Now we'll just add that second coat on this. The second coat, I'll cure that. Now I'm going to grab the ultra liner that came with these and we're going to use that to create the tortoise shell. So I'll have that ready. And I also am going to use a base gel from Madame Glam and not cure it. That's going to be the next step. Now I would use their, I think it's blossom or blooming gel they have. I don't have any of that, but that's what I would use if I had it. So instead I'm just going to use the base that will work as well because I need to disperse the gels. So I'm just gonna grab that. So there's their base coat. So just a layer over this is fine. It doesn't need to be over the whole nail. So 
I'm gonna take the liner brush, the ultra liner, and we're gonna add some of that brown first, and we're gonna just kind of make little kind of round areas. And it's gonna disperse as I'm adding it. Now while that is still wet, I'm actually gonna add some black. So now I'm ready to cure it once I'm happy with it. I think that looks good. So we'll cure it for 30 seconds. And now I'm just gonna grab some foil flakes. I just wanna add a few. So I'm gonna use that liner brush to do that. They're gonna go in that sticky inhibition layer. So I'm just gonna open that up. And then once it's cured, I will add a few of those. Not much, just a little bit, just to add that little bit of, I'd say more like dimension or just that little bit of shine. It just makes it look really nice. And then I'll show you what I'm gonna do with those uh, new gel paints, those neon ones. So there it is so far, I love the way it looks. Now I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with those neon gel paints that I got. I'm going to top coat this with Madame Glam's No White Top Coat. So there it is. I love the way it looks, but we're not done yet. So I'm gonna cure that. So the first one I'll be using is the Ultra Pink, my favorite. So you just want to make sure that you have the color really absorbed in those bristles. So I'm just running it through and you can see it's gel paint. It 
it goes really nice on the brush. So I'll show you what I'm gonna do with this. So this is a fun way of just brightening up the tortoiseshell nails. If you do it, the tips, just the tips. So as you can see, I have it on there really well. It's absorbed into those bristles or soaked in. So now this is how you're gonna do the tortoiseshell nails to make it more fun and summery. So you can wear this in the summer. I love this. So I'm just gonna follow the line of the tip the smile line and we're just gonna go along there. You can make it Darker if you want, I'm gonna deepen it just a little more. So there's the pink. I love how this looks. So I'm gonna show you the other colors on there as well, but it just makes it a more of a fun summer nail. And yeah, anyways, so this would cure and you could leave it just like this because it doesn't have to be top coated the pink or you can top coat it if you want, but that's the first one. Now I'll show you the other ones quickly. So I'm gonna show you just one more color on the tortoiseshell nails, just to give you an idea what each one would look like. And you'll have to let me know which one is your favorite of the two and let me know which one you would choose of all of the neon new uh, gel paints from Madame Glam. But yeah, anyways, I'm gonna try this. I think this will be nice as well. And then we can decide which one we like better. So you could do it thicker like that, but I don't like it quite that thick. So I'm just gonna grab a brush I'm gonna use a Madame Glam brush to clean it up. It's one of their applicator brushes. Not the one I got in the box, but this is one I already had. I like to use this as a cleanup brush. So I'm just gonna go along the edges and neaten that right up. And that's okay if I took away a little bit, I can always add. I just want to get it nice and crisp looking. So there it is with the yellow. I'm going to put it on my little palette just so you can see better without having the base underneath. Yeah, there it is with the yellow. Of course, on somebody else, it's going to look a little bit nicer, but you get the idea. Which color do you like better on the tortoiseshell nails? And did you know how to do tortoiseshell nails before? And let me know if you like the way I did it. And I want to say thanks to Madame Glam for sending me the neon gel paints to share with you. Love them. I like the fact that you don't have to have a top coat on them. They are nice consistency, easy to apply. So thank you again for watching. If you could please like and subscribe, I'd really appreciate that. And I will see you in the next one.